Hi! Welcome to Love TV. Do you ever get achy, tired, strained eyes? This week's action ship is inspired by Amado, who actually wrote to me. I'm not going to read what he wrote, but basically he wrote to me saying that he's having eye problems and his vision isn't very good, particularly when he's in the dark, it's not very good and it's actually affecting all of his head and the nerves and even his balance. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to bring some more relaxation to our eyes because we use them all of the time and if they're tense and tired, particularly when we're staring at a computer screen, everything that then comes through our eyes is going to be filtered with that tension and that tiredness. So, would you like to relax your eyeballs? So where are your eyes? <laughs> it's a funny question, isn't it? They're in your head. You're looking at me through them, but here is a skull. I think you've met Mr. Skull before. So you see these nice sockets in here, and they're cone-shaped, and this is where your eyeballs sit. So I was looking for an eyeball in my toy box. I couldn't find one, but I did find this. Um, which is kind of cool, which is a compass, you know those ones that's in the water. I thought that was a really nice image for our eyeball. So I'm going to put it in there like that. Can you see that? So then I found this yellow feather that I thought would be nice if we put this in our eye sockets, like that, <laughs> and then place the eyeball in. So, point being that you can imagine your eyes resting in soft feathers. So I actually was looking in one of Eric's books. If you don't have this book, Eric Franklin, um, In a Focus, Outer Strength, I recommend that you buy it now. You can go to Amazon. Well, at the end of this video. Um, and at the back, he has an eye exercise that we're going to do together. So, where is it? It says, eye relaxation at the office. So he says, our eyes are located in conical pyramid-shaped eye sockets and surrounded by muscles and a padding of fat. There is a clear liquid in the inner part of the eye, so kind of like this, um, and it's important to relax the eyes regularly, especially if you spend a lot of time looking at a computer screen. So you're going to take your hands and you might want to wash them so that they're nice and clean. And you're just going to start massaging around your eye sockets. So you can feel the bones in there. And make sure you're breathing. So you're just massaging around your eyes. So you can feel the bone underneath. And at the side. And at the top. And you're going to take your hands and you're going to place them over your eyes. Just take a nice deep breath and imagine that you can just let the eyeballs rest into their sockets. Or you can imagine your eyeballs just softening into a bed of soft feathers. Resting. <sighs> And then for a final extra zing, we're going to imagine that you can just wash out your eyes. So imagine you're just sending clean spring water around your eyes, washing them out. And just take your hands away. And just notice how they feel and notice if now the information that's coming into your eyes looks any different. And this is actually an interesting thing. Rather than thinking, I need to look and stare out there, see if you can shift that to allowing the outside world just to settle onto you. So you're just kind of receiving it instead. So I want you to practice this exercise three times a day. And let me know, write a comment at laurahamesfranklin.com, laurahamesfranklin.com, also on Facebook. Let me know how that feels. And if you practice this three times a day for a week, I think you're going to notice difference in your eyes, in your mind, in your ability to see clearly. And I have a feeling you might have some new 
in sights. So um, go have those, make sure you let me know what they are. Please like and share this video if you like it and I will see you next week. We're going on an adventure. And if you watch tomorrow's video, you'll find out where we're going. And I'll see you next week. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you every day. You never know what day I'll see you. Well, you'll see me. I'll see you through the internet when you write your comment. Okay, I gotta go.